it's the tail hook. Whatever your tail hook key activates the. Um, it's not vertical takeoff. It's short takeoff, vertical landing. What it means by that is you activate it with T, and then on the actual panel, if you click the word hover once you're light enough, then it will go into automatic hover mode, and you've got a hover. Right. Okay. You need a left and a right earlier on trim set. Because basically, what this jet does. Um, it's an automatic hover so if you touch nothing it won't move you can roll left roll right with your stick um, you go up and down up by pulling back on your stick as if you're pitching up down by pushing forward but it's vertical it's nothing to do with your actual pitch yep. uh, and then to go forward and backwards there's a limit of 50 knots each way to go forward you basically earlier on trim it to the right and you set the speed you want because it's above the um, airspeed indicator it's you'll be able to set the speed you want to go forward or backwards and then you center centralize the trim and it'll bring itself back to zero right okay but you have got a short takeoff mode and a short landing mode which is when you press your tail hook key it goes into that which is about your minimum speeds about 80 knots and the way you see what your speed's going to be is you look above your airspeed indicator, move your throttle, it tells you what your speed's going to be at that current pitch that you're holding and the current mm -hmm. throttle. Around 60% throttle is your minimum you need to remain in the air. So right. is it um, Elewon trim I needed to set? Yeah, Elewon trim you need a left and right and a, a, a centralised all trim button. Oh, cool. That's um, I've got elevator trim. Um, yeah, you need earlier on trim. Even if you... I have no spare buttons, I'll have to use a keyboard. Yeah, yeah, I use the keyboard myself. I use the left and right arrows and then the down arrow to um, centralise. Right, when I uh, spawn in, then I'll. Uh... Okay, set. Streams on, by the way. Roger. Yep. So, um, no weapons, just, um, what, the one external pod? Oh, you can only have that anyway. Yep, set. Someone loaded inside me. Right. No, so, I'm going on to hang as long to you to your oh, right hand yeah, side. Something weird's happening to my panel here. Hopefully it'll kick back in when I put the uh, engine on. I lost all sound. Strange. I'm still 70% loading. <laughs> Alright. That is weird, I've lost all sound and my panel's gone all funny. Might have to give it an odd restart of the aircraft. No, because I notice mine plays funny. Sometimes it loads up and it won't allow me to press any buttons. I have mm. to re My sound disappeared and everything. Oh, there you go. I think I'm going to have to reselect the aircraft, that's all. Here you go, I've got you showing now, um, on oh, no, Earth, you met, so that's... Right, Whoa, what's it doing? What's what doing? It's reloading me somewhere, fair enough. Right, I'll fix mine. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. What's the problem? It is doing the stupid uh, thing, it'll keep loading terrain data, loading terrain data, because it's spawning me mid-air. Yeah, it will spawn you mid-air. Have you, you, yeah, you not... 
You've not got them boxes ticked, have you, so? Do you think it's the case that he mm, needs to be in the circle jet. before I do? No, it's nothing to do, it can't be anything to do with a single person causing that problem. Right, hold on, let me just double check them two boxes are ticked, I'll just jump into free fire. Check that unticked. That from the first day? No, he had crashes the first day, would have would have crashed. Right, I've only got till like quarter past five, so... Yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to start, and if you carry on having problems, then you won't be able to join us. But if you get in whilst we're taxiing, it's all good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Start an engine. I don't mean start to be engine. a bastard about it. <laughs> it's just, I'll be on again at 8, but if you're not on, that's fine. Yeah, I won't be on from today till next week now. Okay. Nothing at, nothing at the weekends, no? I've got a mate round during the evening, so... Worst timing. <laughs> oh, okay. Taxi him. Watch up. Just favor and press. You Prayer. Hang on. Let me have a look here. I don't know whether it's me smoking or you smoking. Uh, never look. You're not smoking for me. I am for me, it's weird. Hey, oh, I smoke when I put... I don't know which lights it, it's causing it. So I'll turn the lights off and use the switches. Use the switches to turn the lights on. <laughs> Alright, I'm just rejoining the session now. Them two boxes Roger. <laughs> They were ticked. Yeah. So There's your problem. Again, so. Right. Might because you crashed, I don't know. Oh, best, best thing to do with your lights, turn them off to stop any troubles. Turn them off and then you've got the landing light switch right, left of your right, left of your left knee and then down by your left buttocks there's four switches in a square. There for your other lights, that's all you need. Oh Matt, by the way, your external techs are not shown for me. Bye now. Yep, there you go. Let's have a look at you. Yeah, yours are showing. Don't be jettisoning them. No, I won't. Wind's 232 at 10. Um, Watch out. We've got a runway 24. I don't mind going from 1-9 because it's closer. Yep, okay, that's fine by me. Or we can just continue, I think 2-4 is just the next runway. No, we'll go to 2-4. Gives uh, Jamie time to get in. I'm just selecting the plane now. Alright, uh, Jamie, how au fait are you with the cockpit? Uh, I'm alright with it. As in, you know, if I said select the autopilot screen, you'd know what to do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you, you've been through all the screens that you can select on each thing. The majority of them without the tap and stuff, yeah. Yeah, cool. Uh, no, the tap, you'll, you'll have seen all the screens. Um, it's just... Um, you won't have been able to switch from air to... Or you might still be able to switch air to surface, air to ground and air, all those modes, but um, you probably just can't do anything with it. Now you can. Yeah. Right. Uh, Alright, it's going to be a con conventional takeoff, 30 degree flap, slight up trim, rotating at 160. Which are? Actually, long run, we'll rotate at 180, make it a nice and even smoother. I do find you have to drag this thing off the ground initially, just to get the uh, nose wheel off. Just right, we'll, we'll hold it. Does, really, it, it is a bit of a pig, but it's. It, it, I don't know, it's, it's an alright aircraft to be fair. Yeah, it gets the job done I suppose. Holding. What'd you I love how people, like when they did the testing with the F-35 against the F-16 and they were saying that the F-35 can't dogfight, that wasn't actually the initial test. 
and what they were actually testing. They were only pushing that particular airframe to its limits because it was limited to what they could do with it. Yeah, the F-35 is shit at dogfighting though. It, I'd, I'd even say it can't dogfight. Well, you need to think, that test that they did was... Um, they didn't have any of the software that the pilot can use headset to win it. Yeah, but before we get defensive about it, the F-35 is not designed as a fighter jet, it's designed as an, um, a, car a carrier born multi-role fighter, which means it should be able to do air-to-air, -air, but it doesn't mean it's going to be like the this Typhoon. Be good at it, yeah. It, it's it's, it's like going to be, it's a replacement for the Harrier, that's what we've got to remember. Its primary role yeah. will, will probably be air to ground attack. Yeah, ground support. Whereas we'll keep like the Typhoons as uh, the dog line. Yeah, exactly. Because they are insanely good. <laughs> yep. Well, what do you expect when you design something that's un aerodynamically unstable, can do manoeuvres at you know, as, 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 as supersonic speeds? Drive, you know, super cruise as well without reheats. Well, <laughs> I know it's expensive. And it was way out. Of t it was way delayed, but it was something worth coming in the end, isn't it? Remember to start your uh, tactical flight recorder, Jamie, and it's E G Y M for Marum, and your call sign. Will, well, you, yeah, your call sign will be Dam Zero One Zero Zero. Yeah, it spawned me mid-air above you guys. Yeah, just move oh, yeah. yourself. Just change your location again, it'll put you there. And then you might have to put your parking brake on and reset it again. Shut your engine down and get yourself loaded up, then start your engine. Yeah, FSX is just freezing because it's uh, doing the tap pack stuff. Yeah, don't worry, that's just caching the objects. It basically, it creates a virtual object for every object that's in tap pack, so that when they do drop, you don't get a blip. Right, so... Let's see how long this line in it. Yep. Which side do you want me on, Matt? Uh, I'm going to go centre, you go left. Uh, fuel check 23.8, gross weight 57.7. Oh dear god, it's glitching. There we go. What the hell? Hold on. How much my... fuel have you say you got? 23.8. 23.8, I've got 18.1. Yeah, because you haven't filled your bloody tanks, have you? Yeah, I've done that. You haven't. How did you fill them? I know exactly how you filled them. No, how have you filled them? By doing that R. Okay, oh, was yeah, it... Now it's showing, now it's showing at 23. Don't know why. Yeah, that, it's probably because you pressed it before you actually had your tanks on. No, I made sure I had the tanks on before I, um, selected it. But, oh well, okay, it's working now, and I've got 47, well, yeah. nine, Cool. Yeah, it's working now, it's all matters. Right. Okay. Um... Now, how would I do the external parts? Right, first thing you need to do, have you got a, a refuel repair button set? Go into your settings, into your controls. Scroll down into your button keys. Scroll down to the R's. It's in position. Right, settings, controls, uh, buttons, keys, uh, down to the R's, there's a repair and refuel button, you need to change that, just change it to R, it's the easiest way to remember it, and just press OK. Right, what that does, it tops all your tanks up to 100% without you having to go into the menus and stuff. Okay. Right, what you need to do is press Shift and 4, that's your tap pack menu for uh, weapons yep. configurator, press clear all, and then on the yep yeah and then click on an external fuel pod station it should fill them oh, yeah, yeah it'll put them both then press R yep it should have 23.7 right I definitely saw the plane drop when I dropped the fuel then so that's a good thing yep start up and get taxi into runway 2-4 uh, what parking did you select? I'm at 32. Cool, it's right out of your hangar. Past the end of 1-9, and then you'll get to 2-4. Um, everyone just double check. Stall mode working. A firm. Oh, mine's not, and I know why it isn't. There's a glitch with the aircraft. If you are in the aircraft, and then you go back to the lobby... Yeah. And then come back. You can't go into stall mode for some reason. 
Yeah, that's because you're in stall configuration. It, it mimics. Okay. Yeah, I'm clicking as well. I think it's doing the same thing. It just flashes and it does not select it. Right, okay. Looks like we're going to be... My engine's off. Oh, that's because your engine's off that. So get your engine on, get a taxi and you can test it on taxi. I now have 30 minutes. Yep. Alright, we've lost my engine sign. Flaps 30. One. Are we going to stall takeoff or are we still staying conventional? Conventional takeoff. Tell you what, conventional everything today. We're not even going to touch stall mode. So you forget I even told you about it. We never had this conversation. Right, I have a massive disc in... The yeah, control shift H. Oh, sure. Right, what that is, that's something to do with air to ground combat. Right, okay. You'll get onto that at some point. That's what we use to aim. And select the target. Think of it as basically your heads up, your um, heads up display in your visor. Okay, we've got I've got active sky running. I got two three two at ten. Hey firm, same with me. Two three two ten. All right, I'm just about to load up active sky now. While I'm still attacking. Cool. Have you started your flight planner? Oh dear God. All right, hold on. Just you need to put your parking brake on for it. That's all. Ah, uh, what? I'm on Active Sky. It gave me a message saying that I need to restart because it's updated a module. But as long as it works, I'm not going to right now. Alright. Started your uh, TFR now. Just doing it now. Okay. Alright. Uh, uh, and Zulu Mike 1, 3, 4. Damn, 0, 100. Uh, stick a random. Tell you what. Steven will go. Uh, Everyone's staying in the circuit. Me and Stephen will be doing formation circuits. Jamie, I just want you to do left-hand circuits from way 24 at a thousand feet for handling. Right. Okay. At some point, we may converge on you and formate on you to watch. Okay. Okay. Full burner takeoff for us, Stephen. Watch up. Because I fancy it. 180 rotation. On my mark. Full burner. Three, two, one. Mark. Brakes are off. Rolling. Brakes off. I'm going to go slightly right so that you. Get your left half. What's that? 90, 100, 130, 40, 50, 60, 70, 180 pulling back. We're off the ground. Gears up, flaps to auto, and throttles off. Good job. Climbing out nice. Uh, throttle is at 5:30. Roger. Do you know what I mean by that? You know on the you know on your uh, little dial left hand side of your cockpit. Yes. That's the description of where the not the arrow but the little arrow head is. It's at half past okay. five. Cool. Alright, uh, cool. I'm reducing now. We've got the speed. It's now at about four o'clock. Well, half four. Hey, firm. I'm just having to keep the um, power one just to build up air speeds. Yeah, I'm just letting you know. Just at a thousand feet now. Just trimming out. Left hand turn. There's no plane not one to speed. You got air brake out. You got your flaps on auto. Yeah, my flaps on auto. Yeah, oh, now we go. Now we're getting. Some. Do you have your gear up? Yeah, my gear's up. Okay. Still got you in sight. Cool. Uh, I'm just about to roll. Oh, Joe, we're just coming on to the downwind leg. Yeah. S speed's roughly 3.05. Might be slightly yeah. increasing. Downwind. Roger.
Uh, I'm rolling. Roger. Got you rolling down the runway. 60, 180. Okay, I don't want you to rag it round corners. I want you to fly it very smooth. Um, just to get general handling. On the next sortie, we'll probably go into air combat manoeuvres before we go into weapons on the following ones. Because okay. it's, it's during air combat manoeuvres, if you're it's basically you'll lose all your speed round a corner and if you're not careful you end up dropping out the sky unrecoverably yeah as Gaz and I'm sure Stephen will find out <laughs> yep I think I found out already <laughs> uh, best advice did you know about putting the flaps on automatic do you know how to do that uh, I've raised them, but I've no idea. The okay, answer. if they're raised, go up again as if you're trying to raise them into a minus. And what they'll do, they'll actually go into automatic mode and they'll adjust themselves depending on what you're doing. Speed wise and, and maneuverability wise. Okay. So, what is it? Is it indicating that your flaps are out slightly, even when you've put them all the way up and more? Yeah, I'm pulling on the uh, elevator and I can see them dropping on the display. Yeah. What speed are you maintaining, Matt? Sorry, uh, sorry we're a bit fast. 370. Roger. Reducing the throttle one notch. It's now at 4 o'clock. Turn him. Hey, firm. Right. I can't actually look for you at the minute because I'm in this turn, but how, how near would you say you are? Are you near enough or are you not near enough? Um, less than a mile, slowly creeping up to you. I'm doing 370 still. Alright. Just to keep, keep up. Well, not to keep up, but, you know, slowly catch up. Okay. And I figured out how to control my throttles, by the way, without them spiking so much. Yeah. With the single aircraft, I was just using the single throttle, which is great. Mm. Basically, I've got the one switch for the throttle for all engines, but I use both of them when I'm flying, like, the Airbus, just to kind of give it the feel, yeah. because they both spike randomly. So anyway, when I'm flying a single aircraft like this, I just use my throttle lever but when I do that it spills all over the spot but when I'm using both and the f you know the real one and the fake one generally speaking to um, say like if I'm mimicking a two aircraft I've got more yeah. control over the throttles oh, okay so, uh, yeah so don't have to press the feckin damn F2 F3 well, I've got you two on yeah, I've got you two on my left side yeah that's right we're turning on to finals Oh, I've got you, Stephen. Get yourself a bit closer. Where'd you that? Airfield on the nose. Sorry, we came a bit far out here. I wasn't planning to come this far. I got carried away talking. Oops, I'm going to overshoot you slightly. Sorry, I'm at 210 knots, that's why. Because the auto flaps has obviously slowed me down, isn't it? There you go, there you are. There you go, I'll give it a burst to catch the speed. Roger that, got you back in sight. Right, we're going to no flaps. Going to 30 flaps, gear down. Going to full flaps, and you'll notice it won't actually put full flap down. It won't do, it basically, when you put flaps down in the air, um, it, it's automatic. It won't, it won't adjust them and adjust them as you slow down. So like, I've got, I've got 40, 40%, no, 45 flat, slats set. But it's still only maintaining nine slat, nine um, flaps. Sorry. Oh yes, I see. Looking for you, Rio. Right. Sorry. Stop stressing the air. Uh, stop yeah. stressing the air crew. Yeah. Right, I'm just turning final behind you two. Roger. You want to be keeping 200, 220 knots. Um, and then on your finals you want to be getting down to about 180 touching down between 140 and 160 S conventional mode this thing sinks like a brick so okay so yeah just just you need to basically watch you know the little airplane in the middle of your hood yep you need to just watch that to make sure you're still descending and also watch your vertical speed and just make sure you flare enough. As long as you've got a, a fair bit of speed on, you're fine. Finals. Yeah, a 
I'm maintaining about a 1,000 vertical speed right now. A minus. Okay. Wait, what's that on? Are you on finals behind us somewhere? Yeah. Okay. What's your indicated speed? Uh, trying to bring it back up to one uh, to 200 at the minute. Okay. If you're less than 200, you're starting to enter a danger zone. Yeah. Reducing the throttle. Would you? I'm gonna get the play on the throttle right. It's 180. Wheels on. Flaps to 30 rolling. 180 roll. Airborne. Good job. Gears up. Flaps to auto. Do you know about the. There's a little arrow to the left of the small aeroplane in your hood. Right. Do you know what that is? Uh, that's your. That's basically. That's your. If that's above your aircraft, you're accelerating. If it's level with the wing of the aircraft, you you're not accelerating nor decelerating. If it's below, you're decelerating. That's how you can tell. Also, on your like when you move your throttle to try and keep speed, just try and keep that arrow level with your aircraft, basically. Yeah. With me, Stephen. Yep. With you. Left turn. Because I'm not familiar with this airfield at all. Turn it off. My fucking overshoot again. My textures are not great, so I can't work out where the runway is. Runway 2-4. Yeah, I'm trying to work out where it is. I can't see it because of my textures. Okay, just keep going closer. You will see it. It will land. Oh, yeah, there it is. I'm coming in at a diagonal. Oh, dear. Oh, well, just correct yourself. You with me, Stephen, or have you overshot too uh, yeah. much? No, I've seen you again now that you're catching back up. Cool. I'm at 2 90. Hey Phil. Yeah, that's pretty much the bit you need to master the most is, you know, getting the um, closing speed right so you can form in but have it so that you can slow down enough and slot yourself right in. Yeah, you and need you need to continue yeah. Right you need to continue closing on me but then as you get within a mile you reduce it to maybe 50, 100 to 50 knots 50 to 100 knots closure and then when you're less than half a mile reduce it below 50 knots closure that, that's the safe way to do it unless you know the aircraft well enough to know that you can get close and when to slow down yeah so what's your speed currently now buddy? 282 level 950 feet speed is dropping off a tiny amount Okay, sure. I see what you mean about this thing wanting to drop so quickly. Yeah. I mean, I'm flying on what's what's my current alpha? Three point nine alpha, and that's at two hundred and thirty knots with auto flaps on. And that's uh. with no that's nose level. I mean, what was your touchdown, Stephen? Do you know? Uh, give me a moment. 473. See, that either meant you f did you feel like you flared early or late? Early. Yeah. I got 169. And I felt like I I flared just right. You can get a reasonable conventional landing, you just got to remember this thing sinks like a brick so your your flare, you're probably flaring at 10 degrees just to to land gently yeah unless you're doing over 200 knots oh left turn by the way, speeds decreasing gently, gears coming down oh, wish your speed user in your channel timed out oh Jamie? yeah that's Jamie, speeds 240 currently oh. it's coming down gently though Sharpening the turn up. Would you? 220, 1000 feet still. Any fun? 215. About 5 o'clock throw. Any fun? 
see how he struggles. I mean, I'm struggling now until I get a bit closer to see the runway or where it is. Yeah. We're in at a diagonal here. Speeds off a bit. About four o'clock now. Visual on the runway. Be a left turn onto final. Roger. Start on the descent, general descent. Speed's reducing now, 240 at the moment, reducing. A firm. Is he still on server? No, I didn't say it. See his name, leave. Yeah. yeah, but I don't know, maybe he's frozen or maybe it's just waiting to time out. Don't know, we'll find out in a minute. I've got time for probably one more circuit. Okay. After after this takeoff, do you want to take the lead? Uh, no, um, do you mind staying in the lead still, so I can just. You know, Alright, yeah. I'll try and get this one perfect. If I 200 that. knots. A firm. Flap set for full. 190 knots, starting a flare. 180 knots. Throttle, see, throttle's the same here. The speed's just dropping off because the angle of attack. 170. Yeah. Starting to increase the flare, turn. See, I was at 12 degrees flare there and still landed at 311. Oh dear. It was over 160 knots. Right, Jamie, you still on server? Everyone. Flaps auto gear up. Throttles at half past five. Watch it up. <sighs> Set. Still on server or has it killed, killed you? No, uh, I think it's. I think you two, yeah, you two are definitely about fine again. My sister decided to plug her phone in by the internet boxes and pull out the plug. Oops. So, have you lost connection to the server? No, I think I'm still with you guys. Yeah, should be good because the keep alive, because it's set so long, it'll actually keep the connection searching for, for a lot longer than usual so you can end up getting back in uh. where are you? I'll figure out where you are coming out to your left to the clock ring now just at your five o'clock right not you right uh, throttle's full follow me we're gonna form on Jamie yep you want me to remain on this heading? I'm kind nope. of just gone on you just continue continue your circuits as as if we're not here okay Flaps to zero. Stop it causing drag so we can catch up with him. Taking it above 2,000 feet. Just so we can go yeah. above 450. There we go, level off. Get the burner on. It's alright, I'll slow down in a minute, just means you slow down later. He is on a base leg, 10 miles from us. Roger. How was your first landing? Absolutely atrocious, minus 857. <laughs> Jesus, good job as a carrier borne aircraft. Yeah, the, if that was a plane, they uh, they would have had to repair some. Throttle's plane. reduced. Good job. Throttle 6 o'clock. Yeah. Right, we're going to demonstrate the power of losing speed in a turn this thing has. We're going to turn onto him at high speed. And quite tired. <laughs> Just attempt to stay with me. Nice Are you still with me now? Pretty much. Yeah, it's reasonable. It's reasonable. I got no visual on him, but we're going to go for it anyway, and hopefully we'll find him. Watch out. Throttle's idle. Visual. I'm trying to drop my speed. This thing likes losing speed, but then loses too much. Yeah, you are you twitching your throttles a lot. You need to do small adjustments rather than on and off. No, I'm just yeah, I'm moving. Speed the check. Adjust. I'm at 200. Right, I've set flaps full gear down, reducing to 200 to 
join you, we're at 300 approaching you. Roger. Where are you gone, Stephen? Sound like you went to my right somewhere. I did. Cause All right. that's... Whoo, zoom it along. Cool. Joining your right wing, Jamie. Roger. I think I'm trying to maintain the speed that I have at the minute. Okay. Well, what's your arrow doing next to your aircraft? Uh, In the hood. Because that's what you want to be watching to maintain the speed. Get it level. Level or slightly yep. above. I've got it perfectly level at the minute, but I need to drop it a little bit and a bit fast. How fast you am? I'm trying to uh, just passing 200 back to 180. Cool. Well, 200 on your approach. You want 180 when you're in about a mile of the threshold. 160 for touchdown. But you shouldn't have to reduce your throttle because it all should. It'll all just drop off because your uh, angle of attack. Yeah. Just overshooting you. My apologies. It's too busy talking. Got my finger on <laughs> control rather than on my air brake. Again. Yeah, because of my angle of attack, it's just constantly dropping, so I'm having to push the throttle even further forward. Yeah. I had to almost get to afterburn at that point. Cool. As long as you're flying, it's fine. Get your nose down, it'll reduce your angle of attack and start your descent. Yeah, that's what I've done now. What about you, Stephen? Just off to your left, um, behind you on your left at five o'clock, uh, seven o'clock, sorry, pardon me. Alright, oh, can't see him, it's fine. Alright, because I'm a bit fast, I'm going to idle the throttle. But, uh... Don't let your speed get too low. I'm telling you, your speed's too low at this point. Yeah, it is. Um... I only know that because I'm passing you and struggling. Go around. Yeah, go around. We're to the right of the runway. Stevens to the left. Got your visual. I just can't right. get the final speed on this thing right. That's the only thing right. I can't do. What you're doing is you're reducing your throttle too early. And because of the alpha, the high alpha of this thing, as you slow speed down even more and even more, it causes you basically... you. You start to lose speed, and as you get slower, you actually start to lose speed even faster because your your alpha's even higher. Right. Okay. Jesus, slow up. <laughs> Left turn. Yeah, I'm at three forty-seven. Yeah, cool. We're forming on you. So you probably need you need about half throttle to maintain at least one eighty on your final approach with everything set. Yeah. Which sounds daft, half throttle for an approach. Well, that's why you don't really do a conventional approach in this thing that often because it's easier <laughs> to control a, a, a short landing. But you need to know how to do conventional so that if your short landing mode won't engage, it's the only way you're going to land conventionally. Yeah, exactly. Once I've got the gist of keeping the speed right, then it's fine, but just yeah, that's the it. speed of the flare. I seem to be turning and keeping it in air fine, it's just... Just the final stuff. Cool. It's going to be my last landing. Roger. You feel free to carry on circuit bashing, because that's what you need to do. You need to get the final approach right. Yeah. So, stay on as long as you can, but... Is Stephen staying on? Uh, I won't be for much longer because my dinner will be ready shortly. Right, alright. But I should be back on again later on. Yeah, I won't be on later. Right, try and maintain altitude rather than climbing the whole time. We're up at 2700 feet here. Yeah, uh, it's my trim button. No, I don't really have, can do about that. to hold the stick slightly forward the whole time then. 
Yeah. Go on then, start your left turn for your approach. Okay. At this point, I'd probably set half throttle. Yeah. Set your flaps to full. They won't go to full because it's automatically controlled through your aircraft. So it'll just give you the drag you need as you're slowing down and as you're maneuvering. And once you pass 300 knots, gear down. I'm at 307. Yeah, wait for 300. I'm yeah, I'm at 309. I'm at 50% throttle and it still wants to go faster. Right, give it, take your throttle off a bit then to get it less than 300 yeah. so you can get your gear out for, for, for a drag. Right, that's 300, 299, get down. Then you're going to be looking on your throttle, uh, left hand side of the cockpit, you know where I'm on about? Yeah. Looking for, to keep that around half past three the whole way in, and your speed will reduce gently with a gentle descent all the way in unless, okay. you, unless you feel you're getting too slow and need to apply. Right, okay. Scratch that, make it four o'clock position. Probably more more accurate. Yeah, I've got it just about there. Come on. Need, needs to turn a bit more sharper. Go on. It's alright. There you go, plenty of room to line up. Yep. Alright, once you level, because your speed's dropped quite a bit now, even on the descent yep. you're probably losing speed, so you, you actually have to in increase speed as the approach carries on. Increase throttle, sorry, to con to keep the speed up because the alpha's so high. I mean, I'm at 230 knots here, and I'm at 5 al alpha 5. I'm at 224. Cool. So that's an ideal approach speed, about 220. Between 220 and 200. Faster, yeah. the more stable. And at what point do you tend to idle? You don't. Like last no, minute. Like one foot above the ground idle. Or even it's touch down, way. then idle. You, you can see this thing needs throttle to, uh, to stay in the air. And even to land, just to maintain the flare or speed just drops off. And just stall into the runway. What speed you got now? 190. Cool. So apply a tiny, like tiny bit of throttle. Yeah. Because you want your you want your speed still dropping, but you want to reduce the drop to maybe one knot every couple of seconds. This is a much nicer approach. You might have to f increase the throttle a little bit, so it might be a bit low, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, a tiny bit low, I've got three cool. miles. Cool. Right, aim the little aircraft in your hood at the beginning of the runway and keep it there until you need to flare. Yeah. Looking good. This is much better. Right, start an early flare, an initial flare, and then a final flare. Just before you touch down. Right, I flared too much. I flared too little. To touch down, you need about 12, 12 degrees of flare. Right, I'm idle and braking. What was your touchdown rate? Mine was 244. 651, so still heavy. It's still heavy, but it's better than it was before. Just keep trying to try and stabilise approaches. Oh, right, a few rules. Forgot to mention. Um, afterburner under 2,000 feet unless in an emergency is a no-no. Afterburner on takeoff is a no-no unless it's a quick reaction take off yep. or unless it's operationally necessary to get off the runway oh ignore me almost crashed the aircraft caught it though on the other wheel um, under 2,000 feet 450 knots is your max speed okay. above 2,000 feet over land your max speed is under Mach 1 okay. and then uh, over sea, or 10 miles out from the coast at least, you, you're unlimited on speed at any level. So the, af the afterburner thing is for noise reduction. Yeah. Um, and the speed restriction of 450 below 2000 
is just a, a general limit for the UK low flying area. Right, okay. So my throttle, when I was on that final approach, then it was just below the 50% mark, it was about 45%-ish, seemed about right. So try giving it a tiny bit more, and you'll get a more a stabilized, a final approach that's more stabilised. Or just, do you feel that the throttle was right, it was just the flare wasn't right? Yeah, the throttle was fine, but I flared way too late, because I was still trying to do the final flare, and I felt the wheels hit the ground. Right, well, there you go. When the radar altimeter says 10, that's your wheels on the ground. Yeah. So you want to be starting your flare about 30 to 50 radar. There's an initial flare, and then a final flare as your wheels touch down, is what I do anyway, or try and do. Okay. Alright, I'm just turning base. Watch out. Did Steven land? Yeah, I'm done. Alright, cool. Bundling my way back to the hangar. Get the London and London um landing undercarriage checked out. Yeah, I think I might might need the same. <laughs> I gotta keep the mechanics happy after all. Give them something to do. What's your what was your last landing rate, Stephen? Four six nine. Mm, it's alright. Anything under six hundred is acceptable. Anything less than 300 is good. For me, then I'm just above 600. <laughs> yeah. So you're not quite to an acceptable level yet, but considering it's your first official flight in this thing, and conventional landings are a bitch, everything else you'll be able to touch down gently. First one's 473, second one was 258, and my third one was 469. Oh, I'm going to file, oh, right. then, file then get off. I will be getting greases in this baby soon, don't you worry. <laughs> uh, I'm short final now, so hopefully this will be a bit of a better one. I need to do a full stop because I need to have a toilet. <laughs> so what I'll do, I'll full stop then probably just fake it. See you in a bit. Keep back across again. Catch you in a bit. Matt.